Hey guys, this is Hang Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I partner with a brand that we all know. They start out with just launching eyebrow pencil powder, and they do really well. But since then, they accolade to a very successful beauty brand. Today, I partner with them to celebrate their launch for satin lipstick, matte lipstick, and lip liner. That is Anastasia Beverly Hill. We invite Queenie here to create this beautiful soft eye, and you can wear many different lip color with the look. I hope you enjoy the video. Give the channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to follow Queenie, myself, and Anastasia on Instagram as well. To start every makeup. I prep the skincare first. First product I'm using is Summer Friday Lip Balm. This is a beautiful lip balm. I always like to use this type of lip balm under makeup. The second product I'm using is Berber Cooling Eye Stick from Nimia Beauty. This is a great eye stick to prime your eye under makeup. They help to depuff. They have caffeine to wake the eye up and to prime the eye area really well. I always use a little eye cream, really hydrate the eye area. The next product I'm using is License Glow Serum. This is also a product from Nimia Beauty. It is really great serum under makeup make sure to shake them first before you use them it give you beautiful radiancy the glow from within even the look i'm doing today is more a matte finish i still like to use a little bit of the glow serum just to have some glow from within it doesn't have to be shiny but i want the skin to look still radiant. And this serum, you can also mix with foundation as well. If you want a radiance, like it's like a, a nice soft glow when you put in the foundation. For moisturizer, I'm going to use Nimia where it's all started, face cream. This is a primer and face cream hybrid. It is a fantastic face cream under makeup. I just got this recently. It is a line from Nikki Tutorial. I think we all know she loved to prime the skin really well before makeup. And I think she got this pretty well. Always give your skin a lot of love. Give the face a little massage. To depop. For creamy skin, creamy have a tiny bit of breakout, but I mean that's gonna cover easy with foundation and concealer. She genetically naturally have a little dark under the eye area. So I'm going to use a little bit of color corrector first before I start foundation concealer. The color corrector I'm using today is from NARA Cosmetic. This is a light color corrector I'm using. And it's up to you personal preference how you're going to use the color corrector. Some people like to put it before foundation and concealer some use after is up to you i like to use a little bit before i apply the foundation sometimes i use between the foundation concealer it's all really just up to you for any leftover color corrector if you see any redness you can actually put in there you can help you to cover a lot easier as well for the foundation and concealer after for the foundation and concealer today, I'm using both from Anastasia Beverly Hill. The foundation, I'm using one shade. For concealer, I'm using two shades. 
I use a little lighter shade under the eye area and the darkest shade to pinpoint anything to cover. This is a beautiful liquid foundation. You can see I use a kabuki brush and I just press the product in. All the area that creamy hair breaks out, I go more a tippling motion like this, so it will cover your foundation a lot better. And the rest of the area, I just go slightly brush around like this, and you can get lighter coverage. The foundation is a beautiful medium to beautiful full coverage foundation. Close your eyes for me. It's a great foundation for someone who love a great coverage, but the skin still feel like skin is not too heavy. I like to always blend everywhere. Even I use a light coverage, I still make sure that everywhere have a little color and that way the skin look quite seamless together. For the lighter concealer, I put mainly on the eye area. You don't have to use two concealer shades like I do. I usually just prefer a little brightness on the eye area. That's what I'm using mostly just under the eye area that I brighten a little bit. And just make sure you blend it really well all the product together. And this is a beautiful, buildable concealer as well. And it does feel like skin. For the darker concealer, I'm using a small eyeliner brush like this. And I just pinpoint all the little marks or anything that I want to cover. And make sure to try to get the shade pretty close to the foundation shades. That way it's easier to blend. You won't see any demarcation. I'm going to use some cream bronzer. Just give Queenie a little more define on the face. She has amazing bone structure. She doesn't need any contour, but a little color would be great. I'm using a little bit around the jawline, the cheekbone, and everywhere. And very gentle, a little bit just blended. That's all you need to do because you don't want to do too harsh contouring. The look I'm doing really soft on the skin. For powder, I'm going to use a loose powder from Anastasia as well. Look up for me a little bit under the eye area. Close the eye. Time lid. And then a little bit everywhere else. Remember, if you have any breaks out, and you cover concealer, try to apply powder like this or press powder. You don't want to swipe everywhere because that's when you move all the products away with a brush. So everything you see I do, very gentle. For eyebrow, Creamy have really beautiful eyebrow. I'm just going to use a brow width to fill in a little bit right here and then a brow marker just give an extra individual hair, just really just decorate it because she does have beautiful eyebrow. I don't need to do too much. To start, your top shape, just fill in this area. And extend them a tiny bit, lift it and longer. I'm doing the same on this side. You see that I just filled in that corner here, both sides. I'm using the marker, this also toe. I filled in a few individual hair. 
where I think it needed. Next, I'm using the brow freeze wax to keep the hair in place. This product is one of my favorite products to set the eyebrow. I think they hold really well and they stay all day for you. To prime the eye, I'm going to use a little bit of eye primer. Close your eye. For eyeshadow, I'm going to use the Soft Plum Eyeshadow Palette. This is their most popular eyeshadow palette, so I want to use it. They have a lot of beautiful neutral shades. The shade I'm going to use is this one, this one, and maybe something like that. Because I'm going to try different lips color for you later. I don't want to do the eye too heavy. The whole idea is I do one eye that you can wear for many different lip shades. To start, you use this shade right here. Do mainly the outer part of the eye area. You can use a smaller brush if you like, or the brick brush is up to you. I like to use a medium one for this one, and just mainly, you see that I do mainly on the outer part. And it's a little bit upward and outward. Not complicated pretty straightforward you see what I'm doing a little bit here and just fade it out I'm doing the same on the other side next use the lighter shades here close your eye for me and just mainly the inner part area and the same on the upper corner here Look up for me, a little bit on the bottom here. Do the same on the other side. Next, use the smaller brush, the blending brush. With this color right here, look up for me. Just do along the lower lash line. And you smoke it out softly. Next, the same color, I do the inner upper lash line. So it's the same idea like blend out the shadow in the corner there. Basically, I'm rimming the eye all around with the same shades. The only part that I'm gonna avoid is just the outer part, upper lash line. And same thing, I'm using a deeper shade just for the outer part. You can see this, and I just basically use that at the upper corner. And then you just smudge it out slowly. So basically I use the shadow and create a little liner. And then after you've done that, use the same shadow and you just match it out a little bit more. So it become very soft shadow. You see, you can just match it out a little bit more. You see, I just match a little bit like that. Look straight for me. And you see a little bit on the bottom here, same. You just blend it out a little bit, both sides. I mean, this is the, I think it's one of the easiest way for you to do eyeliner with the powder, because you have way more control. After you finish this, you're not gonna change anything. Just go back to the first color, a little bit. Look up for me. Use this to blend out the edges. Everything you do, just blend it out a little bit. Just smoke it out, close your eye. And you touch up a little bit right there. And pull outward and upward. Same on the other side. 
I'm going to use two coat uh, mascara for the upper lashes. Look down for me, and one coat for lower lashes. This is a beautiful volumizing mascara as well. If you want to try, it's great. It's grab all the lashes for you. And it keep the lashes ton tons of volume. This mascara does give you a lot, a lot of volume. For blush, I'm going to use this palette. The shade I'm using, just the one right here, and a little bit of the pink on the upper part. To start, use a little bit. Very subtle. You see I'm using very gentle. And the pink color, look out for me. I use a little bit right under the eye area. Just back and forth the two colors I'm using. Do the same on this side. For highlighter, I'm using this highlighter palette. The shade I'm using right here is more like a pinkish champagne shade. Look at this wave for me. This is actually one of my favorite highlighter palette in general. So you should check it out. I think they have one for a deeper skin tone as well. But it's just really, really beautiful. You use just a little bit and add radiance a little everywhere. The purpose of this look is I'm trying to create an eye makeup look that you can wear for many different lip shades. Also, to celebrate the launch of Anastasia new satin and matte lipstick launch. The shade I'm choosing is this nude color, two of these colors. Sorry, this color is a little messy because it dropped on the floor and we only have one sample. Uh, I hope it's okay. And they come out with 12 different nude lipstick in all different shades. And then they have six matte lipstick. These shades are absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna try it on right now for you to see. The lipstick is really beautiful. It's fully pigmented, but because I apply on the model, so I'm just gonna scrape off and not apply directly on the lips, but you can do that on your own and it does cover really well. Very hydrated, smile for me, and really pigmented. This is a satin texture and the whole point of this one, I chose the color, it's more like creamy lips color, but more enhanced and that's the whole point and the 12 satin lipstick they have a lot a lot of different different nudes and pink and soft color and brown you should definitely try it out they also launched the lip liner as well and i like to do that after my lipstick for this kind of texture you can see that the lipstick is very hydrated and very comfortable I think the lip look great like this without lip pencil but if you like more define you can use the pencil to define the shape even more. I like to use the shade always a little deeper for the lip pencil. Something like that is beautiful. For satin lipstick you don't have to use lip liner if you want more soft finish or you can use lip liner to define the lip more Anastasia Beverly Hills also launched 18 lip liner as well they all vegan all clean product from the lipstick and the lip liner that's the first look I'm gonna show you what gonna be the next color I'm using even for this look, I still can go all different lip shades as well. For the next lipstick, I'm going to show you their matte lipstick. 
and the lip liner is called Cherry and the lipstick called Royal Red. And let me tell you, this is a very, very beautiful matte lipstick. Big size for me. I'm going to draw with the lip liner first to define the lips a little bit. For red lipstick, you can fill in the whole lip shape if you like. Creamy lip shape, she have quite full here. I'm gonna avoid that. I wanna make the lip bit more pouty, so I just fill in mainly in the center area, modify, and I leave the lower edges a bit more softer. This lip liner is quite pigmented. If you test lip liner on your hand, you tend to feel a little dry, but those one that you really want because it really have a nice grip when you apply lipstick. For the matte lipstick, they're quite pigmented. If you use from the palette, you just need one swipe, but because I use with a brush, then I just have to apply them a little bit differently. But they are really beautiful. They are matte, they're very hydrating still. Slightly smile for me. And on this area, open your lip for me. And I just don't want to overly draw on the lower corner there. Just more softer on the edges. That is the Royal Red. This is absolutely beautiful texture. They come out with only six shades and 12 shades for satin finish. This is a matte lipstick, but I think they definitely should try to do more color than that because the texture is absolutely amazing. The satin finish earlier is really beautiful, but this matte finish, I feel is very, very special texture and I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna do it the next look with a deeper color with matte texture as well. The next lip I'm going to do is also a matte lipstick. This is a deepest shade they have. Again, I'm doing the lip liner first. Smile, smile for me. Really feel them out. it on the bottom as well and I feel them out a personal preference if you want to fill in the lip fully with the lip liner when you do dark lipstick I usually like to do that with this matte lipstick texture you don't need to because they are really really pigmented they would give you a lot of coverage you don't even need to do it big smile for me I honestly think she look amazing I'm going to complete the final look with the dewy setting spray Close your eye for me. That is the final look guy. I hope you enjoy the look that I create with all Anastasia Beverly Hill products. Thank you so much for them to send me all the products to play with. I hope you enjoy their new launch. I think they do a beautiful job and you guys should give them a lot of support and try out the products thank you queenie so much mm -hmm. for lending me your canvas today to play for all different looks we just like play lips and wipe up and play lips i think every shade looked great on her and this is what we chose the three shades on her i hope you give the channel a lot of love subscribe to the channel and don't forget to follow both queenie and myself and anastasia beverly hill on instagram as well thank you so much again for watching